Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be working on the 2012 Ram 3500. I have to do ball joints on the truck, upper and lower, and the axle U joints. Hopefully not hub bearings and everything else seems fine. Tie rod ends and the steering arm. So let's take these wheels off this thing, knock those ball joints out, throw them in and get it out of the shop break the passenger side down so pull your two bolts out of the caliper bracket and then just swing it over and you can set it right there on the lower control arm knock your rotor off and these two bolts back here for your caliper bracket is going to be a 24 or a 15 16 and then when you go to knock your tie rod end off it'll be a 21 or a 13 16 and then for the four bolts on the back of the axle to slide the axle housing out at the axle out and the housing out will be an 18 so just unbolt all that like i said slide this over put it over there and then you can just knock this off with a hammer right on the end and then when you go to pull your axle housing out you probably just get a little bar kind of wiggle it and then get the bar in there and work it just try not to break anything, which shouldn't. And then that'll slide right out, and then we'll just press the ball joints out, and the side will be completely broke down. BS line. Or wire. It's just going to be a five millimeter, and that's it. And then you can take a screwdriver and just pop off the wire from right here on this little um, retainer clip. Swing it up out of the way. You can lay it over there with the caliper, and then you're good to go to unbolt this, unbolt the axle, and like I said, just use a pry bar, slide it out, and that's it. All right, so to take your nuts off, you're gonna need a 24. I don't have a 32, but I do have a socket that'll work. That's a standard, it's just, I mean, it, it will work, it won't screw it up. It's a inch and 3 16 so that's for the bottom. And uh, luckily I got the little tiny impact that'll fit up in there, so it'll take it off, no problem. And then I can use just the electric DeWalt impact gun for the bottom. So let's knock these things off and then we'll take the spindle out, you know, do the same thing like I did on the um, tie rod ends. Just smack with a hammer and it'll slide down. There is a retainer clip. So just pull the C-clip out. pop the retainer clip out and then you can be able to press your ball joints out.
All right, everything's broke down now. And if you look, these are factory, factory ball joints, never been replaced. But this one, it has some pretty bad scarring. I don't know if you can see it. Or when it was installed. So let's have to clean it up down in here. You can kind of see it yeah, right there. So I have to clean that up. And then just kind of clean all of them up a little bit. And then go through the ball joints in the freezer. Let them get nice and cold. And then press them in. And then we also still got to uh, knock out the E joints for the axles. All right, let's get this upper ball joint pressed in. in remember to put your retainer clip on and your zerk fitting and then when you press in the top one you need to remove your zerk fitting and then you can just use these this one right here see that I won't allow it to go all the way down so now I just got to move over to the other side and do the same thing And so for the bottom nut, you're gonna need an inch and five sixteenths. That's what I got. And then for the top one, you can use a 27. And it should be a I guess an inch, I just can't remember what conversion. But there we go. All right, now I'm gonna replace the axle U-joint. So you gotta remove your snap rings that are right here on the caps. You just knock them out with a screwdriver. And then sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. So we'll do that and then knock the U-joint out.
All right, the ball joints are in on this side. I just gotta put the um, tie rod in, back on the spindle. And I'll go out and knock the U-joint of the axle shaft and put the new one in. We'll slide this on, put the rotor and caliper back on and the front of the truck is completely done and they can go get aligned. So I'm ready to throw that axle shaft in. And when you're doing your new joints, just check everything. Make sure everything's free. And okay, we'll slide this thing in. And then we'll grease everything, the ball joints, the U-joint, even the tie rod ends and all that. Make sure everything's nice and greased. Throw the tires on it. And then probably just take it for a quick test drive make sure everything's working good. It's not making any noise. All right, the ram's all done. Front end's greased. Let's take this thing for a test drive real quick. All right, everything on the ram feels good. The suspension feels good. Nothing weird, no shakes, no weird vibrations. No noises like it was earlier. So she's ready to go. I'll call the owner tomorrow and have him come pick it up. That window, you gotta love it. It's nice and dirty. A little taco man over there, the taco cowboy. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys like today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, the notification bell. That way, you guys can stay notified on all the new stuff that's coming out of the channel. And thanks uh, to all the new subscribers. Later.